All right, we are here with the final top 10 ever of this show. I mean, you are like the last class that's graduating from this show. What does it feel like to be a part of this, this whole experience? Oh, man. Um, you know, as a kid, it's something that you always want to be a part of, especially as a kid who sings. So to be able to make it in just right at the last season really feels like it was meant to be, you know? Absolutely. And you made the top 10. I mean, that is no small feat. You, you, what do you think, let's say you were being objective and you were judging yourself. What would be the one thing that you think that you have that kind of got you here tonight? Um, I think I definitely approach a different genre than a lot of the contestants. I love R&B and hip hop and I try to really stay true to that even when I'm approaching another song. So like the one I sang tonight, I tried to give it a hard halftime and you know, just experimenting and seeing how I can bring me to every song I perform. What's your favorite genre of hip hop and R&B? Like do you have a certain period of time or a certain artist or? Honestly, like Chris Brown's first album was bomb and his exclusive album as well. So I'm just totally shouting out Chris Brown. But like I love like slow like R&B jams, um, but also really anything with like a good heavy hard bass. I mean, I don't know. I love it all. I love all music. It doesn't really matter, you know. You're young. How do you stay out of being in your head? Because there's going to be people on social media, people telling you what you should do. How do you stay true to yourself regardless of what producers and judges and social media and fans say to you? Honestly, like the thing is, I'm still learning to, to not read it all and not not give in to it all because I know it's going to be there no matter. I'm on such a large platform now that there are always going to be people who don't like you. Like, for example, I have people hate on me when I don't wear makeup, and then I have people hate on me when I do wear makeup because they want me to stay natural. You know, it's like there's, there's always going to be people on every side who don't like what you're doing. So for me, it's just about reading one positive comment and getting the heck off Twitter. Like, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. To take us out, what judge are you most afraid of when, when it's their turn to give you critique? Afraid of? Like you just you kind of hold your breath a little I feel bit more. Like um, I wouldn't say afraid, but like most interested to hear Harry because Harry always gives a really, a really specific critique. So it's most important for me to I think listen at that point because he always has something where he just really really nitpicks, but in the most positive way. Yeah. But um, yeah, Harry for sure. All right. Well, good luck. Top ten. Thank you so much. Uh, we can't wait to see how you do this season. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah.